Gonna set up a little casino in here or something? <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. I have a 1933 Rockola horse race machine, and if the odds are in my favor today, I'll make a deal. I'm selling it for health reasons. My wife told me that she's gonna kill me if I don't start getting rid of some of these machines. This is um, deeply cool. This was 1920s, 1930s, the whole temperance movement. Drinking is bad, gambling is bad, everything with fun is bad. <laughs> I don't know who these people were. They just wanted to, like, make life suck, you know what I mean? <laughs> they, they wanted to take away all the good stuff. And uh, all these slot machine companies had to come up with a way to sell slot machines, but not sell slot machines. Exactly. So the slot machine manufacturers came up with the term trade stimulator. But everyone knew exactly what they were for. They were gambling machines. Sure. This is the horse race slash Wheel of Fortune, right? Right. This is made by a company called Rockola. They made these from 1932 to 1935. You would go into a store, and they would have this on the counter. The gum is actually just a front to say that it was a candy machine, not a gambling machine. Basically, you could bet with the store owner or bet with your buddies. Pick what horse you want. You put the penny in. And the horses will run, and the flag will tell you which horse won, and the ball will tell you what the odds are going to pay. I think it's great. It was just a little way to skate around the law. And that's why you hardly find these things anymore. A lot of these were destroyed. You know, when the cops came in and they found these, they'd take an ax to them. Just great Americana. So. Oh, yeah. And the big question, how much you want for this thing? I'm hoping to get wholesale, which is about $3,000 for this machine. This would retail at an auction anywhere from $4,000 to $4,500. Give me 2200 bucks, because I am going to have to spend a couple hundred bucks to make it a little prettier. Well, I'd give you the 200 for the uh, renovations, and I'd go $2,800. <sighs> I'll go 2700 bucks. I shouldn't even go that high. $2,750. $2,700. I swear I'll walk over 50 bucks. I will, too. $2,750. Nope. I can't do it. $2,700 bucks if you want. $2,750. Have a nice day. I'm out. OK, Rick. Thank you. It was a tough negotiation. I was jockeying for position. Unfortunately, it came down to the wire, and I ended up last. Well, I'm coming back to the pawn shop today because when I got home, my wife jumped all over me about not making the deal. Rick had offered $2,700. I wanted $27.50, so I'm hoping we can still make a good deal. Hey, what's up? You're back. I'm back, Rick. So, um, did you change your mind? Well, my wife changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> we had a long discussion, and she decided that I should have taken the offer. OK, what did I offer you, like, $1,500? Now you offered me $2,700, and we thought about it, and I thought, well, I was willing to take $2,600. I should have took the twenty-seven, dollars but I, I really thought you were going to go for the twenty-seven fifty, so I pushed it a little bit. So you didn't break it when you put it back in your car or anything like that, did you? Oh, no, no. It's in perfect working shape. This is cool. I mean, it's eventually going to sell. There's a lot of people in Vegas who collect the slot machines and everything like this, and I just love it because it just gives it a little bit more mystique when it was an illegal gambling device. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's a cool-looking piece. It just looks beautiful. But uh, I decided I, I really want to sell the machine. I know you really want it, and I would go as low as 2600 for it. I, I offered you 2700 I'll give you the 2700 for it. Well, cool, man. We got a deal. That's a fair deal. All right. Thanks, sir. Right over there. Well, I'm going to buy some more machines. I'm going to fix them up, and who knows? Maybe I'll be back again. I thought he'd come back. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. Just got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.